All right. So uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising, a weekly general tarot reading, February uh, 17th to February 23rd, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. So that being said, moving straight away into the Taurus personal title reading. So um, the first one, which stands for the topic of your week here, guys, is going to be the King of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents the energy of uh, the situation or kind of like the energy that is feeding up the topic. That is to be the five of ones. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that Taro is offering to you. That is to be the page of swords. Followed by the next one here, which stands as the guidance the Tarot is offering here. Not the guidance, excuse me, the gifts and the blessings. Oh my God. The gifts and the blessings of the situation that you can enjoy. That is to be the uh, your card, actually, which is the Hierophant. Afterwards, it is how people are going to see you, how people, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people. That is to be uh, the High Priestess. And the last one is the guidance that the tarot is offering this time around we do have the eight of wands uh very interesting so just give me a second here guys now we do have two people here that are having a, a big influence upon your situation and um, it's very difficult to define what kind of a um, what kind of a purpose that king of swords is serving to you uh, that is because I will try to explain. Actually, we can't define it because we do have the gifts and blessings of the Hierophant. But yet it doesn't look like that is going to be very pleasant for you. That is for a reason being it is that we do have the five of wands here at the start, which is the energy feeding up the topic. And basically what that combo here points it is that uh, you are to have someone around that is just is not... I can't stand seeing you doing these things anymore, whatever those things are. Okay, so we do have a person here who is, uh, his mm, analysis, his perception, his assessment is that you are doing things wrong, career-wise or relationship-wise, if you will. Okay, but the good thing here is we do have those uh, the this combo, which is actually a active support, uh, active friends. Excuse me. It is that that person here is determined to help you. Now the problem is going to be how much you are willing to allow them to help you. All right, because with the energy of the five of wands, every situation that it is deteriorating can be transformed into a, a successful one. The thing is that one needs to catch the surprising events that are coming around and those surprising events are is this person here the king of uh, swords which steps in and says what are you doing okay what the hell are you doing with your life with your career with your relationship all right and the the thing is that uh, that, that that specific stepping up is going to baffle you a lot because you alone are going to think that you're doing the right thing in there. And it is not wrong by any means as well. It is just inappropriate. Okay. At least according to these cards. So what happens here with that person is that through a analysis on the situation, very careful and very calm analysis of the situation with you and the King of Swords, you find a way out of difficulty. So if I have to give you an example here, uh, say you have big problems with your um, uh, with your beloved one, okay, and you are fighting constantly over that thing or over another, and you think you are doing the right thing. He thinks that he is doing the right thing. Who, so who is wrong into the situation, right? And we do have this person stepping in. It could be your father. It could be his father or her father. Okay, it could be as well the mothers. It could be a a, a couples therapist, for example, because it's not exclude that the King of Swords. It's a professional help as well. Okay, steps in and kind of like sheds the light over the situation and actually it turns out that the both sides you and the other side as well is equally wrong and equally right into their standpoints but the point is how to make it work 
and that person here through analysis once again it actually gives you the recipe of how to make the things work into your career and into your relationship because whatever he can, he i'm saying he because it's a king of swords but it could be as well a woman whatever he or she can come up with it can be transformed into a, a very effective actions actions that simply are making the things happen now this person king of swords they are uh, how can i say it they are very unbiased and as well very disconcerned okay in the sense of that you cannot find a uh, um, emotional commiseration from their behalf they simply do not care because for them everything needs to serve a, a purpose and for one or another reason your well-being serves a certain person a certain purpose to that person for example that could be your boss seeing you know how much you are struggling they know that you are a good asset to the company and they want to kind of like put you back on track being a good asset once again so they step in and try to resolve your problem for the sake of the company do not mistake that this person is doing these things for your own good they are doing it for their good for their for their own good but for one or another reason throughout this week your own good and their own good it's kind of like it's overlapping they are it they're leading into the same direction all right so you have a, a very very powerful ally here throughout the week that will help you stand back on your feet either career-wise or either relationship wise as well now another thing i want to mention here with the five of wands it is that as an energy that card points that many things are going to start happening. There are going to be constant surprises here and there, career-wise, relationship-wise as well. So you should not be biased about outcome of any kind of enterprise because like we said with the King of Swords, even if you are facing a, a damnation or total destruction, so to speak, career-wise or relationship-wise, with the help of the King of Wands, you can definitely reverse the course of events and you can definitely end up in the uh, with the upper hand here or having the edge into the situation. And now that I'm talking about another example comes in my mind, all right? So say you're facing a divorce and you get totally destroyed throughout the course of the divorce, but that is a, a new lawyer of yours that comes in in the very first session that he's hired or she is hired totally um, reverse you know the course of the uh, of the case for that kind of a person we are talking about but of course they do have a a reason to do it it's because you are paying them to do it okay they're not doing it for their from their good heart they you're paying them to do it and they do have an, an image to work for as well so we are going to the next one, which stands as the challenges that you have to overcome. And that is another person. And that is the one that is standing against you. So you do have one that helps you and the one that stands against you here. This one you cannot convince into your own, into your standpoint and into your point of view. This person, they are in it for uh, say it that way these these people they kind of like with a mark with the page of swords into that position they are feeling very well when they are in a conflict okay so they make conflict for the conflict for the conflict sake uh it's kind of like they create rangos rango it is like having a conflict that does not produce any results whatsoever nobody wins whatever happens nobody wins and um the simple way how you can overcome the page of swords as a person is completely ignore them now they will try to lie to you because the page of swords are very good in presenting fictions as facts and they can be very very convincing and for that reason you need to have that ally here who is kind of like sobering yourself and uh, sober sobering you and is calling the things with their true names and is kind of like uh Mm, how can I say it? Dispersing, you know, the shrouds of uh, of fallacies that the Page of Swords is going to simply spew on on the situation itself. 
and uh, if we are following the example of the lawyer that could be uh, the other person's lawyer who is trying to intimidate you with simply with uh, a statements that are simply not true and your lawyer completely destroys this person here but once again you need to kind of attract that ally and the only thing you gotta do here guys in order to have that ally that very very powerful ally on your be on your behalf it is to just allow them to help you and to listen to what they are to tell you okay and what you gotta do because we do have the other card here which is the gifts and the blessings and that is the uh, hierophant card and as a gift and blessing that card points to a couple of things the most important here benevolent support comes around a support that is going to simply resolve your problems because your problems can be resolved into the already existing framework of matters okay and if you do need professional help you have to get a professional help okay you don't have to reinvent the wheel at all and the hierophant as well points here that uh, how can i say it that everything it will unfold the way it's supposed to unfold if i may say it that way i don't want to say naturally but whatever course of event uh, or whatever cause course the event took it will reach its uh, final destination that is with the help of the king of swords but definitely with the hierophant as well that card points that you are going to be gifted also with extreme amount of trust meaning that whomever is at your be uh, at your side here either in the conflict of your career or either in the conflicts of your relationship is going to trust you more and more and is going to be convinced into your righteousness here the next card that we do have guys it will be how other people are taking on you what kind of impression you're leaving into the people around that is the high priestess so with this follow-up we can only take the high priestess as allowing someone else to uh deal with what they are good at okay so leave the uh the uh, the court case for the lawyers okay leave your medical situation for the doctors okay leave your career uh, romantic for example problems for the couples therapists and etc etc it's like people are gonna uh, people are gonna see you kind of like unleashing your assets and allowing your assets to deal with the problems that you do have and therefore those people who are trying to intimidate you they will they will kind of like be very discouraged of it because for example when they try they're gonna face your lawyer they're gonna face for example your partner into relationship and etc etc additionally to that people are going to be a bit afraid from you because the high priestess points that they're gonna kind of like have the impression that you're cooking something that is gonna hit them out of uh, hit them out of nowhere it is like secretly you know preparing your next move and that next move is going to surprise them very well so they will they will become a bit suspicious towards you but above everything else it's kind of like people are going to see you as a, someone who trusts in the universe and that the universe is going to present you with the outcome of the events that you so much deserve and that everybody around so much deserve that is because the high priestess does not operate in uh, in a loud situation and does not brag about anything the high priestess operates through silence and through that silence allow her um, actions to speak louder than words and the last one here it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you guys Taurus and we do have the eight of wands and the eight of wands points that this is the week where you have to risk okay you have to take risks throughout this week because the eight of wands is the card pointing to high risk high reward type of uh, type of situations and in that particular case as you do have such a strong backbone of the king of swords that is the best ally that you can have even it's it, it's this ally is more fearsome even than the emperor because the emperor does have dignity the emperor does obey certain rules this one doesn't okay this one uh, if he has the means to destroy your competition even if it is not um how can I say it um, respectful even if it, even if it does not dictate dignity 
he's gonna do it, he does not care, okay? Because for the King of Swords, in love and war, there are no rules. Everything is allowed. There are no things that are prohibited. And uh, for that reason here, the Eight of Wands at the end uh, kind of like encourages you, as you do have that ally on your disposal, to take a risks in order to overcome your competition, to resolve your problems, okay? And to win, for example, your, uh, your or to kind of like accomplish your goals. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly uh, general tarot reading, February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can a purchase such. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.